The National Defense Force is the state military organization responsible for the defense of Burundi. A general staff a tot major general commands the armed forces, consisting of a joint staff a, tot major inter -arms, a training staff a tot major de la formation, and a logistics staff a tot major de la logistic. Naval and aviation Commands exist, as well as specialized units. Burundi gained independence in July 1962. In October 1965, an attempted coup d'état led by the Hutu dominated police was carried out but failed. The Tutsi dominated army, then led by Tutsi officer Captain Michel Micombero, purged Hutu from their ranks and carried out reprisal attacks, which ultimately claimed the lives of up to 5,000 people in a predecessor to the 1972 Burundian genocide. Micombero then became prime minister. King Mwambutsa, who had fled the country during the October coup of 1965, was deposed by a coup in July 1966 and his teenage son, Prince Ntare V, claimed the throne. Later that same year, Prime Minister, then Captain, Michel Micombero, carried out another coup in November, 1966, this time deposing Ntare, abolishing the monarchy and declaring the nation a republic. His one-party government was effectively a military dictatorship. As president, Micombero became an advocate of African socialism and received support from the People's Republic of China. He imposed a staunch regime of law and order and sharply repressed Hutu militarism. After Micombero's coup d'état which deposed the monarchy, he became first general in Burundian history. He was also commissioned by the National Council of the Revolution French, Conseil National de la Revolution CNR, and made a lieutenant general. In his turn, Micombero raised Thomas Nadabimai to the grade of Major General. They were the sole generals of the First Republic. In 1981–82 the IISS estimated that the Burundian armed forces were 6,000 strong, with two infantry battalions, one airborne battalion, one commando battalion, and an armored car company. The same estimate was repeated in the 1988–89 edition except that the strength figure had been dropped to 5,500. The Burundian civil war lasted from 1993 to 2005, and an estimated 300,000 people were killed. The Arusha Peace and Reconciliation Agreement for Burundi ended 12 years of war and stopped decades of ethnic killings. The 2005 constitution provided guaranteed representation for both Hutu and Tutsi, and 2005 parliamentary elections that led to Pierre Nkurunziza, from the Hutu FDD, becoming president. According to a 2004 report by Child Soldiers International, Burundi's military used conscripted child soldiers. Children in military service were subject to military courts which fell short of international law standards. The armed forces have deployed significant numbers of troops to the African Union mission in Somalia since c. 2007. On February 1, 2007, Burundi committed to the mission, pledging up to 1,000 troops. By March 27, it was confirmed that 1,700 Burundian troops would be sent to Somalia. In 2011 the IISS estimated that three Burundian battalions were deployed there. The Army's forces in 2011 included, according to IISS estimates, two light armored battalions squadrons, seven infantry battalions and independent companies, an artillery, engineer, and air defense battalions SAW-7, GRAIL, manned portable SAMs and 14.5mm, 23mm and 37mm guns were reported. Separately reported were the 22nd Commando Battalion Gitega, and 124th Commando Battalion Bujumbura. In the wake of the Burundian unrest, personnel faced a choice between supporting President Pierre Nkurunziza, with whom some thought when he was a military commander, or opposing him. Interviewed by Reuters on May 14, 2015, an Africa analyst at Verisk Maplecroft said moves by Major General Godefroid Niembert, former director of the intelligence service, starkly highlight Ed Nkurunziza's lack of unified support among his military chiefs. He said. Even if Niembert's attempt fails, Nkurunziza's political credibility may be damaged irreparably. In the aftermath of the coup and the later disputed election, Armed Forces Chief of Staff Major General Prime Niengabo survived an assassination attempt on September 11, 2015. Topic: <laughs> Equipment.
Topic: <laughs> Infantry small arms. Topic: <laughs> Anti-tank weapons. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Vehicles. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Artillery. 12 BM-21 Grad 122mm multiple launch rocket systems 18 D-30 122mm towed howitzer 15 M-37 43 82mm medium mortar Approximately. 75 Brandt 120mm heavy mortar <laughs> Anti-aircraft weapons 30 SA-7B Grail Manpads launchers 303 missiles 15 ZPU-14. 5 mm AUG Over 150 ZU-23 223 mm twin gun AUG M1939 Type 55 37 mm AUG Aircraft inventory The Burundi Army's air unit operates 11 aircraft, including one combat aircraft and six helicopters, of which two are non-operational as of 2012. <laughs> Notes <laughs>